little bundle. All right, so in this one, we have the new Super Saiyan GT Goku's kit here. Uh, we also have Choice Battle returning with the Penic wait, Penikenno. That's what they're called, medals, the, the Penguin medals. They can farm unlimited energy with uh, those there. Coming into a choice battle. Very nice. Very nice. Choice battle near you. Very cool. Uh, probably equipment. Uh, maybe we'll see the picture of it. Uh, you know, within the next couple of minutes here going over the kit. But we do have the Super Saiyan Goku. Hopefully he's purple for the sake of... Uh, Some family has had a new purple since GV. Which is literally almost a year old. And uh, GT hasn't had a new purple since... A usable purple. Since purple Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Who is four years old. So... Please, like, please <laughs> do that buff. Thanks. Uh, hopefully he's purple, though. Now, this Super Saiyan Goku, hopefully he's good. Let's see what he can do. Main ability, he's blast-based. I think that's actually good. I think that's actually good because full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku is blast-based. That actually could be good. It could be good. Restores, uh, well, draw blast arts card next. Restores own health by 50% and key by 50. That's a lot of health back. Wow. Uh, okay. Increases damage inflicted according to number of timer counts elapsed from battle start up to 70%. So, on main. So, after 10 counts, he gets 20% damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled. After 50 counts, that's a jump. 40% damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled. And after 80 counts, that's a bigger jump. 70% damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled. And it takes 10 timer counts to use that. So, he'll get basically um, 110%, 110% on a I would say within the first combo because 10 counts, you'll get 20, you get 90 right there. I mean, that's good entry, 110% basically. Then it goes up to 130, then it goes up to 160. That's a lot, but it takes a good while. Okay, that that's good, but it's not, it, it's weird, the time gate. I don't like the time gate. I think that's actually terrible, the time gate, but at least having a higher entry of 110 is, is good enough for free unit, right? Uh, first unique, a plus one effect, self and battle starts. 90% damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. 30% damage inflicted for 50 time counts. Okay, wait. He's getting... Okay. So on entry, off main, he'll have 90, 20, 30. That's 140% with boost. Boost is 20%. He'll have 160% damage inflicted within the first combo of his main. That'll go up and up. he would get over 200% as a free unit. That's already very good. That, that, that's pretty good, actually. That obviously will fall off with this 50 timer count thing, but he can't get there, technically. Reduces damage to you by 50% cannot be canceled. Reduces damage to you by 15% 15 time, for 50 timer counts cannot be canceled. Okay, GT restriction. All of these characters keep getting GT restrictions. I hate it, <laughs> but they keep getting them probably because tag fours are going to be Legends Fest. Also applies the following effects to self per tag GT battle member on this character in the party battle starts. So you want to run full GT. My idea was running him with Pan, and then the other Pan, and now I have to switch it all up. Thanks, great. 15% damage flicker cannot be cancelled. 25% security recovery cannot be cancelled. So he gets 30, basically, for a GT team. Because 15-15 doesn't count himself. 30. Um, the following effects occur when enemy performs a cover change while this character is on the battlefield. He doesn't have cover at all, so that's kind of worrying so far. Um, restores own key by 50. Randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. Randomly destroys two enemy cards. He destroys two enemy cards when they cover change? So, like, is this meant to, like, be against Puddle? Like, he'll cover change, then he's kind of like a... It's not like a, you know, he's going to hit you and throw you back. It's going to be, like, a stagnant cover change. Is that meant to, like, stop Puddle, like, cover changing in and, like, bodying you? Because that's, like, the only thing I kind of... Maybe Super 17? Because it's, like... GT go. I don't really get that. Um, okay, it, it'll be okay. That's not really good, but sure. Then the fun effects occur every time with face with an enemy. Gets card draw speed by one level for 10 timer counts. Inflicts enemy the as you downgrade minus one to card draw speed for 10 timer counts. Okay. Applies the fun effects to self every time an arts card is drawn while this character is on the battlefield. Restores vanish gauge by 10% and 10% damage inflicted to 10 timer counts. Applies the fun effects to self when this character evades an enemy attack with a vanishing step. Restores key by 50, randomly draws one new card when you're through a few cards. Okay, blue card assumably is a quick animation, kind of like the uh, green GT Kagoku we do have right now, the Super Saiyan one, assumably, quick animation. Randomly draws at most four new cards when you have three or fewer cards upon activation. And then his green card just restores own key by 30, uh, there's something inflicted, 10 timer counts, and gives you card draw speed. Oh, and gives you uh, 
Destroy all of your enemies' blue and green cards. Very nice against Pan, Puddle, all those things. Then he buffs... Yeah, he's Blast Base. Blast Attack and Strike Defense. The meta Strike Base, so that's very good. Um... Okay, I don't really know how to feel about this guy. I definitely understand what he's meant to do, which is uh, hit them. It's just this effect down here of the uh, Restore Vanish Gauge kind of just keep going and going and going without cover null. I mean, that's just not a point to really exist. Like, everyone cover changes. I get him being Blast Space is very good with all these strike cover changes of uh, Pan and... I deadass can't even name more, but uh, Dragon Fist, I don't fucking know. Cool, or like, you just strike cover changes, right? So it's good. It's good to have, you know, more blast based right now, technically, and have strike defense the ability, because that's what you want to, you know, like, go around that uh, premise. But without cover null, like, he really is begging to have cover null. Like, he is pleading to get cover null and be, like, that last guy alive and just. Go and go and get vanished back because he's going and going and going and go. Well, you can't go and go and go without cover null, right? So, um, definitely a dilemma going on there. I wouldn't say it's particularly a great thing that's happening for him, but, uh, is there anything else? Uh, personally speaking, it's only choice battle. It's only choice battle, it seems, so far. Oh, there's a Piccolo equipment. It's literally Piccolo about to, like, like he's about to slash somebody. Uh, okay. I don't see much else popping up on the timelines of Twitter and Discord and all these other fancy places. Um, Tag Force could be Blast Based, at least. We know that much. Um, I see nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. When this video goes up, there's probably going to be a, you know, oh my god, that's a Plat Equip! But, like, it's probably not. Oh! Nope, that's a GT Goku Equip with him being in Super Saiyan. Probably the PvP Equipment. Uh, we'll wait like two seconds, but uh, overall, I kind of like Super 17 a little bit more. He has cover null, and he just goes and goes and goes, and he's more of a... I mean, he's more suited for the team being strike basically. I get that they're like having to change it to be a more blast-based team, but um, yeah, it's just... I, I, <sighs> he wants to be red to pair with full power Super Saiyan 4 in theory, so they have color synergy. Or yellow, I guess, because like, you know, green, purple is the advantage to green, and then you be yellow, but like, I don't know, PP messages, that's all I'm seeing, I'm not seeing much else. Yeah, I don't see much equipment, but yellow, uh, I mean, Puddle exists, so he's not replacing anybody in Sun Family, I guess he's not meant to, and if he's red, like, what's the meta of PvP? Beast Gohan? <laughs> like, you know? So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I wanted to be purple, you know, going into this. That was my, you know, great theory and hope. But, uh, if he wants to pair with Full Power Super Saiyan 4, which is who he wants to be with, clearly that's why he's Enkai'd, he would have to be yellow or, uh, red. And that's, like, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I think he's solid. I get the idea that we have to change over to Blast Based if this unit or this unit in the future is going to be Blast Based. I get it. I understand it. It's not good for these in-between units to be changing over. It's more for like a Z-Ability type of vibe that we're going for, I guess, that Legends is giving, even though he could just been double attack. But nonetheless, uh, he looks solid. He looks like he wants to do damage. If he had cover null, would love this guy a lot more. I like Super 17 already more on paper. Super 17 is the second best third best gt unit right now this guy's probably fourth um being behind pan full power super saiyan 4 super 17 and then then there's him maybe like g4 could be better you know high star 4 coup maybe but like for right now he he seems solid i just wish he had cover null and he takes a little bit too long let me know what i think of the new super saiyan gt kid goku kit and i'll see you guys in the next one at 6 a.m. Eastern. Yes, 6 a.m. Eastern is when game goes back up for PvP for uh, his showcase. And if we get anything else that's, like, big news, which there is so many, so we might, because we don't have, like, a Zenkai coming out tonight or anything, uh, I'll do, like, a short or something or a video. But I'll see you guys in the next one.